welcome to Two Dorin again. I'm continuing the works that you saw the last time. I've been doing a lot of works for the past year, planting cassava, planting sorrel, banana. As you can see, as we go down into the land, you can see what I've done. As you can see, those who know bamboo know this is a bamboo gate. We use this a lot in Jamaica. So I just think I'm making a bamboo gate here because it's different. This is a cassava field. Follow me inside and I'll show you what I've been doing inside. There's all cassava, fresh cassava. I plant cassava in here, one and two bananas, orange tree, pear tree, coconut tree I plant in here. But you know, things take time to come forward. But they will come because I water them every day. Come and let me show you my generator. Yeah, this is my new generator to pump the water from the ground upwards. I water every day. And that's what made the cassava look so nice and fat and grow tall, as you can see. I lock it at night in case anybody wants to borrow it. And I open it in the morning and I pump all day water. This is a nice orange tree. It's gonna be very sweet when it grows. It takes around two to three years before it grows. And this is a banana. I'm um, sorry, this is a um, coconut tree. I've got around 15 coconut trees here. But this is the biggest one so far. Also, I've got a breadfruit tree. I've got four breadfruit trees. This is one. It's just coming. See another leaf come here? But you know, like anything else, it takes time. This is my little banana plantation. I've got quite a few bananas here. Probably got around 120 at the moment. But I'm gonna plant some more. I'm not gonna stop planting. This is a sweet potato. Here, the yellow ones. Very nice. This is a noony tree. It's very short at the moment, but it's bearing. Look. It's all coming up here. And this is a sour sap tree. It's very nice. Anybody come from Jamaica know what sour sap is. Anybody. This is a pepper tree. This is the hottest pepper in the Gambia. Very, very hot pepper. They call it guana pepper. It's very hot. When it ripes, it turns yellow. This is a cow manual. Where I put around all my plants. It's hard work. The cow manure is very tough, so what I do normally, I soak it for around four hours before I start to put it on the plants. It takes lots of water to melt it down. But this is what I do for the past two weeks I've been doing this. I water the plants with this and make the plants nice and firm. But it's hard work. I have to go to the beach and get this because they, they, they save a lot of cow down there in the evening. So I'll go down and I'll get the manual in the wheel. Hard work, as well. and I come here, and I put water in it, and I mix it. Yeah, this is a tomato bed. I plant them here first, before I transfer them to a bigger place. But they're coming up lovely, and these are, these are the biggest tomato in the Gambia. Yeah, this is watermelon, growing. This is the way they grow, if you don't know. They grow on the floor. Many of them, as you can see, they're here. All along this side of this line, all the way up to the flag, I'm gonna plant yam here, but I'm waiting for the season to come in that I can get them from Ghana. And all here are gonna be yam. 
everything the food's gonna be on. This is my temporary home for the time being. Till I finish my building here, I sleep in there. As you can see, I'm building a temp a home here. It's gonna be a roundhouse with two bedrooms. And I'll save one for you when you come.